Hi, this is the CAD CAM Lessons channel, and in this video I will show you how to create such a simple box in FreeCAD, but I will show you a method where we can first create two solids in one project and a way to make these solids connected with each other. So in case of changing, for example, the dimensions of this box, I will change here the length of this side. Okay, this solid changed as well as this solid, these are two separate solids, but these solids are connected with each other. And when it comes to FreeCAD, if you don't know yet, FreeCAD is a fully free program for 3D modeling. In this program, we can create 3D models, among others for 3D printing, but we can also design 3D models, and based on these 3D models we can create technical drawings, based on which we can for example make this part in a workshop, and FreeCAD is completely free, and we can use FreeCAD both for hobby, at home, in the workshop, but we can also use FreeCAD commercially and we can create projects on which we will earn money. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do it by getting one of my FreeCAD mini courses. It's like buying me a coffee, link is in the description. And now, I will go to FreeCAD and show you how to make such a simple model and I will show you how to create another part in the project and how to make the next part in the project connected with the previous part. I will start a new project. I will start the project as parametric part, and here we will create a sketch on the XY plane. Of course we will create here a rectangle with dimensions 100 by 70 millimeters. Okay, and based on this rectangle, I will create a solid with height 30 millimeters. Now based on this solid we will create a box, I will use the thickness operation, so that we create a box with walls with thickness 3 millimeters. Okay, and we have such a box. And now, working in FreeCAD in the part design module, we work on elements of body type, and this element defines one single solid. In this case, if we want to create a cover of this box, we have to do it as a second solid, as a second body type element, because here in this body we can add next operations to this solid, but we cannot create another solid, Simply when we create a solid in one body, then each next stage of the solid must touch the previous stage and it is one single solid. If we want to create another solid, then at the beginning we click the create body button. We simply create here a body, and here in the operations tree another body was created, and now we can create another solid, and this next solid doesn't have to be connected with this solid, it can be a separate solid. However, if you want the next created solid to be connected with the previous solid, then we must somehow obtain reference geometry to this solid. And the easiest way to do this is simply creating another sketch using some face of this solid, and now I will show you what I mean. This face will be the reference face, based on which I will create the cover of this box, and I choose creating sketch. And now, such a window appeared. And now if you want the next solid that we will be creating to be connected with this solid, then we choose here the option Make Dependent Copy. We click OK. And now we were switched to the Sketcher module, and I choose the Reference Geometry command. And here I cannot indicate this geometry, that's why I click with the right mouse button, going to the Model tab. We don't close the sketch and let's turn off the visibility of this solid. Let's turn off the visibility of the first solid. We select this solid and press space. And here we have something like a reference plane to this first solid. Let's go back to the Tasks tab. And now we choose the Create External Geometry command. And let's create reference geometry based on this edge and based on this edge. Now I choose Drawing Rectangle. Here we can choose drawing rectangle from two points and let's draw a rectangle approximately in such a way. Okay, I click with the right mouse button to cancel the rectangle drawing command. And now, I select this point, I select this point and press the D key to define the dimension between these points. Here, I will enter the value 1 mm so that there is a gap between these two solids. Next, I select this point, I select this point and here I also add dimension 1 millimeter, and we will do the same on this side. 1 millimeter and in the second axis, also 1 millimeter. 
I close the sketch and add extrusion. Here I choose the reversed option so that the extrusion is made downward and as the length of extrusion I enter 3 mm and click OK. And so we have such a solid and now we will create the second part of this cover and we will also use reference geometry to this solid. Let's create a sketch on this face. We select this face, we choose creating sketch. Next we choose the create external geometry command and we create reference geometry so that we have the corners of this geometry and we choose drawing rectangle. And we draw a rectangle in such a way. We close the sketch and add extrusion for example for 3 mm and click OK. Now I will turn off the visibility of this plane and we have created such a part. Now I will turn on the visibility of this solid and change the position of this cover. I will move it in the z-axis for example by 15 mm. And in such a way we created such a box with cover and these solids are connected with each other. If now I go to editing the sketch based on which this box was created then the changes will also be applied in the cover. As you can see with this relatively simple method we created something like such a very simple assembly and in some cases this option can be very useful. And we will finish here. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.